Hello traders, this is Dion. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Alright, so in this video, I want to talk about time. Time in trading. What is the best time for you to start looking for a trade entry or for a trade trading opportunity? Are you supposed to just be uh, drawing lines the whole day or there's, or there's actually a time that you are supposed to be on the chart? and start looking for any trading opportunity okay and before i even go any further i have uh, i opened a telegram channel where i post some of the setups though most of them are just scalps but you can learn one of one or two things this is a a free channel so yeah just wanted to point that one out all right so when we are trading we look for points of interest where we are supposed to look for a trading entry okay which is fine and as you can see i've already mapped out this trade i don't want this trade this uh i don't want this video to be too long so i did the structure mapping there's already a video on structure mapping that you that you can watch if you don't know how to map your structures this is just market direction all right now you've already mapped out all of this you know where your inducement is you know where your break of structure is you know your change of character everything all right now you're just looking for a time like a time period where you're supposed to be looking for for trades okay so i always advise that you have a trading plan all right you don't just have to be on the market and then do whatever you want just because you feel like you have to be in a trade for some reason no you need a trading plan what i need by that you need a risk management plan a trade management what type of trader are you are you are you a scalper are you uh, a swing trader do you hold your trades so, for so long and all of that okay but even with all of that we are now talking about entries okay when it comes to the type of trader you are that is when you can involve like what what uh like when are you supposed to exit trade that's that's what separates uh all the, all the traders all right but when, when it comes to entry you have to enter during a period where the market is actually volatile you need to see some sort of reaction it is not it's not supposed to be instant but you have to see it at least play out the way you saw it in your mind according to your analysis okay you don't want a situation where there's already um let's say there's a there's a pure eye you don't need a situation where you have uh, a, you you have already identified a point of interest like this okay and then the market has already entered that point of interest you have already found a trading setup okay now the market is just playing around this Point of interest okay it's just in a consolidation it's not going anywhere and you are waiting you have stuff to do okay you don't want to be in this situation because the market is indecisive in this situation you'd rather you lose a trade than a trade just going sideways like this without doing anything all right it's either you win or you lose not watching the trade the whole day just acting like this that's very unhealthy all right what you need is uh it doesn't even have to be instant okay maybe it can play play around just a bit it goes up maybe it even comes down again okay it doesn't take much and then yeah goes away or even even if it goes uh it goes against you at least there was a reaction that didn't take that long during this period the market is volatile all right it, it's moving uh faster than usual okay so this is where time comes in now 
okay so personally i like the london session and the new york session but my favorite is london session when it comes to currencies all right so this is what I, so for for london session let me just write this one down so for london session it lasts from uh that is zero to the morning to zero five in the morning okay and then for new york for new york also okay New York session. The one that I'm talking about is the one that lasts from 07 hours to 11. Okay, this is the one that I'm talking about. Okay, so that's New York. All right, so these two sessions are the ones where I look for trading opportunities. But there's there are also uh, there's also the Asian range, okay? There's also the the Asian range where everything is just consolidated. You don't want to be in that market. You lose your mind. You'll be very frustrated. All right, because what comes after that is the London session. That is just that is just there for manipulation. It's going to take out your stop losses with no mercy, and then goes totally against you. All right, New York is just distribution. Okay, so don't worry about those terms. Uh, that's for another video. All right. So I just want you to look at these break of structures okay and then just look at where the market was uh was reacting okay so right here let's just start from here uh right here all right this was zero two by the way uh this is not the zero two to zero five or seven to eleven for any time zone okay if you see here this is let me show you. I'm in the New York time zone. All right. I'm not in in just my own time. My my time zone is GMT plus two. Okay. But I set the time zone to to New York. All right. So just just be aware of that. All right. So here you can you can already see this is zero two thirty. Okay. Now this is the fifteen minute. This is the fifteen minute chart. If you if you were to go down to the one minute chart, that is where you can look for trade for, for trade entries. Okay, I already have a video on trade setups. Those are the same video that you can use. Those are the same setups that you can use. All right. If you want to be aggressive, you can use the the single candle order blocks and such. Otherwise, I just want to point out like the time frames. Okay, this was. 0 2 this can I'm looking at this black candle. this was 0 2 30 all right until 0 5 0 5 uh, that, that's ended right there okay so I just want us to concentrate on where the market was reacting okay so this was in the London session all right if someone was looking for entries at least at this, they were going to find something in the London session. Okay. If we go to the upside, if we go to the upside, this, this, this was, if you see most of these long candles, this is the 880 candle. Uh, in most cases, for me, I, I like trading after the 830, especially if I know that they, they're supposed to be news by 8 30 okay i just like trading after news has passed it's rare that you find me trading uh, the news it's exciting but 
I just wouldn't recommend it, especially if you're a beginner, you're just trying to, you know, stay focused. Okay, at least somewhere around 10 hours after all of this has happened and then the market is just trying to fill in this gap that has been left by this 8.30 candle. Yeah, that is 10 under here on the lower time frames when it comes to scalping this is where you find certain setups that you just go in and come out and you are done for the day i'm sure you've seen some of my if you haven't you can check out my previous videos where i trade uh, sometimes i trade live i just record some of uh, the trades on trading view yeah and uh, that's mostly on one on the one minute time frame or five minutes time frame okay so you don't need all of this movement okay when you go down to lower time frames you just need a small movement because we are just looking for a good risk to reward ratio and you are out all right not stressing on whatever was happening after this what and if you have noticed if you have noticed mostly after 11 hours the market tends to move slower okay you can see here there are long candles here all right so we can move on down here where the market reacted here i'm not even looking for any pois here if we're looking for pois we could have uh drawn this one here we would have drawn that one here Okay, but for now, we are just looking for where the market was reacting. All right, this was New York session. Okay, this was New York session. So it's fine for you to take certain trades. If you want, if you are someone who likes holding trades, you have that patience. Some of us are really, really impatient. You can hold this trade. I don't know this, this uh, actually ended up going the, the other day okay into london session you can see from from new york which was around 9 30 into london and then it reacted again and then started going all right move on again there's a this you don't even need to bother okay this is like 17 30 you don't even need to be there okay at least if you were doing something if you wanted to hold this trade you there's no you can enter here and try to hold this trade okay because if you measure this if you measure this these are some of the trades where you enter knowing, knowing fully well that the market is not is not in in its rise or in it in its right zone when it comes to premium and discount zones okay so this is where you just scalp or especially if you've actually seen uh like a bias okay there's 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 also a daily bias there's there's the weekly bias if you are really convinced that this is a bias you can enter with confidence and don't let it go all the way Okay, because it's very easy for the market to just go down again. And then you can see that the, there's like way too much fair value gaps there. All right. So this was during the London session. Okay. And then this was during the New York session. It reacted, started going to the upside. Okay. It's still going this you don't even need to touch and when you see these rea reactions like this this is where uh if you join my my telegram channel these are some of the things where i mark like this okay this is trend line liquidity this is trend line liquidity okay it's for people that like uh, trading trend lines okay when they get stopped out this is the new york session when they get stopped out and then the market starts going to the upside okay after getting stopped out the market didn't go all the way up 
okay the market did not go all the way up just look at what was happening here okay this what whatever was happening up there also this one i like um marking these these are relatively equal highs okay this is the buy side liquidity this is the buy side liquidity if you see um some people call it double tops <laughs> whatever that's that's just liquidity okay so when the market bounced here okay this is like i said in london there's a uh, manipulation i said london starts from 0 to 205 you can see this this one here so it just took out that buy side liquidity and this one looked looks like it was some kind of news yeah so it just took out that buy side liquidity and then started going to the downside again okay came back started the new york yeah so you are get i hope you are getting the idea and this is where we are now yeah this is where we are okay this is yeah and it has already ended you can you can you can even tell how the market is moving very slow here all right because the new york session just ended this was the last nine foot there was a lot of news today is thursday today is thursday the 23rd yeah there was there was uh some news you can see some long candles here all right so this video i just wanted to show you like the time i don't want you to be on the trade for for the whole day trying to analyze your your chart not knowing the time or like the range or the the time period where you're supposed to be looking for for a setup okay because for me after this there's nothing i'm looking for all right my day is done i'm waiting for tomorrow and that's it all right again if you have enjoyed my telegram channel i share some tips and some setups almost on a daily basis just uh, today today there was news so <laughs> uh yeah yeah so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe we'll be dropping some new videos in the coming week all right guys have a good trading week